Hey guys, welcome to Impact Gaming. So we are back with Raji and Ancient Epic. So let's get started. So if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe to our channel. That would help us a lot. Speak to me. Will you not wake up? These people have no will. Their minds are clouded by Randa's shadow. And so the city was taken without any way to fight back. But they are alive, and so they can be freed. So these guards are under Rangda's spell. So we are going to defeat Rangda in order to save these people. It is the story of Garuda. There were two sisters, Kadru and Vinita, the most dear of wives of Maharshi Kashyap. He granted each a boon to show his affection. Kadru asked to become the mother of a thousand sons. Vinita asked for just one son. But that he must be more powerful than the thousand sons of Kadru. Blessed by the Maharshi, Kadru gave birth to one thousand eggs. Vinita gave birth to only two eggs. With time, Kadru's eggs began to hatch. Inside each one, was a coiling snake. Vinita, impatient and jealous that her sister's eggs had already hatched, took it upon herself to break open one of her own eggs. Inside Vinita's egg, was a half-formed bird-like creature. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her, saying that she would be a slave to Kadru until her second egg hatched. And if she did not show patience with that hatching, she would forever be a slave. And so, under the curse of a half-formed offspring and through the machinations of Kadru and her Naga children, Vinita became a slave to her sister. Years passed until one day Vinita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda. The king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. He was too powerful for the Devas to defeat and so seized the elixir from them. I saw that Garuda did not want the elixir for himself and so I manifested myself to him. Because his heart was pure, I granted him the gift of immortality. In return, he granted me the gift of becoming my mount. Should I so desire it, I warned Garuda of the deceptive nature of the Nagas. So Garuda returned to the Nagas with the elixir but tricked them, telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river. He attacked the 
children, unsuspecting, as the bathed and ate them up. He freed his mother, Vinita. For safekeeping, Brahma took the elixir and bore it back to the heavens. Well, that was an interesting story. This is one of the mechanisms that will lower the guardian waters. Is it too much for her? Cogs and levers. This is no challenge compared to fighting demons. So these are the puzzles that I need to solve so that I can lower the water and move forward. Water's drain. It is not enough. There is more to do. Another mechanism to find. She must hurry. We do not want Ranga to notice until Raji is prepared. I don't know if there is any key to holster the weapon, but I think that would be a good quality of life feature. Let's free this place from corruption. Oh, corruption. She must cleanse this, Durga. She must cleanse all of this. She will. And perhaps the tree will grant her another vision of the future.
was this? What did this being want with Golu? To instruct him? To control him? Raji did not know what I knew. Here lay our greatest peril. That is it for today, guys. Be kind, be safe, and have a good one.